Today the church celebrates the feast of the Annunciation of the Lord. In the feast of the Annunciation, the church celebrates the greatest event in the history of humankind, that is the incarnation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We relieve the significance of this beautiful event, one of the most important and best remembered mysteries of our faith each time we recite the Angelus. True God became true man, an act in which God's salvific giving of himself to all of creation but directly to man reaches a high point. This feast is celebrated on the 25th of March to precede the feast of Christmas by nine months. It was formerly known as the Feast of the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary until its original ancient title, the Annunciation of the Lord, was restored. In fact, it is a joint feast of our Lord and Our Lady. As Pope Paul VI says, the feast of the Word who became the Son of Mary and of the Virgin who becomes Mother of God. The Annunciation brings into focus the fulfillment of a dual vocation. The second person of the Blessed Trinity had a very specific purpose in becoming man, a vocation that is to free human beings from ravages of sin and death. In obedience to God's plan for bringing about this reality, Mary assented to fulfilling her own vocation. This act is deeply rooted in a personal choice and decision. One however, that is essentially preceded by another choice, a choice on the part of God. As Christ himself asserts, You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Mary's fiat, a humble submission to God's will, was what wrought the great miracle of miracles whereby the mystery of the incarnation of the Creator in the most perfect of His creatures became an accomplished fact. This feast leads us to realize the magnificence of divine grace, the wonder of God's freely given love. Going deeper, the marvel of Mary, even in the midst of the very ordinariness of her life, is the clarion call of the Creator to each of us to wake up to the marvelous creatures that we all are by divine design.